today is about commemorating uh, the Domini aircraft uh, and its 45 years of uh, service to the Royal Air Force. Uh, so we've launched uh, six aeroplanes to come back here uh, and fly in formation uh, to then go round and they will come back in sequence to, to land. Uh, then they'll taxi back in and, uh, and shut down all together uh, as a sort of a poignant moment to, uh, to mark the retirement from service of the, uh, the Domini. The Domini was first brought into service uh, and actually handed over, it first, be a, first did a training sortie in December 1965. Uh, at, at one point there was 21 Dominis that were delivered and were flying for the Royal Air Force. Uh, we now have eight of those uh, original aeroplanes here, six of them are of course airborne today. Um, and it's always been used really to train uh, the fixed wing air crew that aren't pilots, so although what we used to term navigators, what we now term weapon system op officers uh, and the weapon uh, system operators. So the uh, non-commissioned air crew that fly in our aeroplanes as their load masters, their engineers uh, or formerly air engineers and, uh, and sensor operators. My name is Colin de Stuart Reid, I'm a pilot here with 55 Squadron here at RAF Cramwell on the Domini. Um, just had the great privilege to fly what will be the last of the Domini flights in the RAF in service with 55 Squadron. And also for me personally, it's, it's my last trip as an RAF pilot in the Air Force with falling the best part of 35 years of service. Uh, my name is 510 Mike Leckie and uh, we're here today for the, uh, the last flight of the, the Domini. Uh, the Domini goes out of service uh, today with the RAF after 45 years uh, in service. Um, I've been uh, a bit of an old aircraft uh, specialist in my time. Um, I was posted here when the uh, Canberra PR9 uh, went out of service in 2006, uh, which means I've been four and a half years on the 55 Squadron. Um, I've uh, quite a few happy memories of flying the Domini. It's a lovely little aeroplane to fly. Um, it's been an incredibly safe aircraft. Um, there have been very few incidents uh, involved in this aircraft throughout its 45-year uh, uh, career, and it'll be sad to, uh, to see it go. It is a very sad day. I think seeing any aircraft retire from service is always uh, you know is always done with a sense of sadness uh, but we're as a squadron or we as a squadron are trying to focus very much on it being a celebration of the aircraft and the tremendous service that it's provided to the Royal Air Force over the past 45 years. 